to The Better Half. I'm your host, Rachel Monick, and these are your better halves. Heaven Daniels, uh, wife of defensive tackle Mike Daniels. Alyssa Janice is our newlywed. She yes, got I married am. too. <laughs> Jeff Janice over the summer. Mrs. Casey Taylor is back with us. Um, she is the wife of offensive lineman Lane Taylor. This is our second episode of the new season. Hope you were able to join us last week. We're happy to be back again this week. Last week was fun. It, it was, was a lot so of fun. fun. I missed it so been much. A whole week yeah. Yeah. I, know. I know. It was crazy. It went really fast. Yes. The That's show how went the fast. Works, so it's like I all know. of a sudden we're in week three. There and we had so much to talk <laughs> about, everything that happened over the summer. Mm -hmm. Well, we have so much more for you planned today. We're going to talk about fall trends. Mm -hmm. These ladies went shopping. They're going to put yeah. on a fashion yeah. show for you. <laughs> oh, geez. Yep. And we have a special guest today. Lindsay Kuhn is here, <laughs> uh, wife of John Kuhn. And uh, yeah, should we do it? Kuhn. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she, they, they had a big summer, too. Yeah, they welcomed a little one. And so we'll talk to uh, Lindsay about the new baby. We'll be cooking too. Casey's going into the kitchen Yay. to learn a new chicken recipe <laughs> apple with an apple cream sauce. Yeah. We have a chef in town who needs your votes all over Wisconsin. We need your help to send this chef into the championship and he has a great recipe for us too. So speaking of babies, let's get to our first picture of the day. Introducing Nicholas ah! Jr. So, so cute. cute. Audie and Nick Perry just had a baby. Mm -hmm. Heaven, you've you've seen the baby? I got to actually snuggle him yesterday. And it was Aww. like I didn't want to let him go. It's like I gotta go to my appointment. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'll just sit here with your baby. He's so cute. He's adorable. Uh, he was born on the 15th. I think he was seven pound nine ounces and twenty inches. Good so he's size. a good size. A yeah. good size baby. And adorable. Yeah, yeah. At first I was thinking he was looking like Audie, but after like looking at him in the face and holding him, he looks like Nick. So she did the work. <laughs> no credit, but still. It happens. It yeah, happens. happens. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot That's of new babies around. I know. How's Audie doing? Uh, she's doing good. I was like, you should be sitting down. She's been literally ripping and running every day since she's had the baby. And I'm like, are you getting sleep at all? She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. So I think she's still in that, like, I'm just excited to be a mommy phase, mm -hmm. but she'll crash. And maybe. wants to do everything. Yeah. 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 But she's done a good job, so that's awesome. Yeah, Excellent. I'm so excited for her. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and thanks for sharing the picture. I'm glad she sent that in. Okay, so we had a big game that Ooh, just happened. Yes. Uh, Sunday night, uh, Packers versus the Seahawks. Yeah. Oh, and it was so a good fun. one. Wasn't I was it great? excited because I felt like there was just that... I don't want to say negative, but just ever since last season with that last game, I was just yeah. like, okay, I've revenge. been waiting for them to come back and just <laughs> beat them. So it was really exciting yeah. to see them yeah. do that. We needed yeah. to get this done. That was oh, yeah. the loudest. I mean, I know this is only my second year, but I that heard was this the loudest. Yeah. I've other people. Seen. Yeah. I was like trying to talk to our friends, and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was awesome. It was, it was probably really us. Cool. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> probably haven't. Yeah. Well, you shared a few pictures. I did. On game day. You Always. took some pictures? No. <laughs> no. Oh, nice. So the guy I was We're number next one. To, he let me borrow his, I don't know, big G finger. He was a right. He was really like cheering finger. and screaming and five and so it was only right that I kinda stole his little prop Hacker for fans a picture. Are the best fans. Absolutely, they're awesome. They're really fun. Um, I feel like every time we go to a game, there's just good energy, like the people around us, you don't even know who they are and they're it's like, so Oh, true. go Mike. It's Especially so if they true. know who you're you know, you've written for, so. Well, and the way you guys are, you know, with your shirts and everything, people know who you are now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're the best. You're the best. Yeah. She's always got a different yeah. shirt to wear. Listen, I got to represent. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Alyssa shared a picture um, this weekend. Was it, I don't know, it was over the weekend. I saw it on social media. It's the oh. bottle from your wedding? Yes. Oh, yeah. And you cracked it open this weekend? I sure did. <laughs> I did right after the game. She, um, one of my really good friends from college gave us a whole set of firsts. There is a first New Year's Eve, first Christmas, first home game, and so she wrote the cute. cutest little poem for That's that cute. one. And I, I actually totally forgot about it until we were going through our wine cabinet with our friends there. And I said, oh, we can't drink any of these because these are all, all these first things. Well, what, they asked to see what they were. I was like, oh, I would have forgot to do it in the past. <laughs> so that was awesome. Jeff and I had a nice glass of wine after the win the other night, and awesome. it, it was fun. And it's did cool you wear something special to the game? I did, and I brought it with me because I'm just so Imagine proud that. Of it. Imagine, Imagine that. Imagine that. Officially, this is. So I got this bad boy made real quick when I got back to the bed. <laughs> and you look good in it. Yeah, yeah. this is 83. I love my jerseys. There's something about yeah. them. Yeah. Well, nice. we don't want to leave you out, Casey. We have a picture that you sent in of you and Lane. And what is this picture oh, from? Yeah. Oh, okay. So those are engagement pictures back in 2012, I want to say at our alma mater, Oklahoma State. 
We miss it every day. I miss being there. But it was the football field. It was only fitting since he played football and. Well, you guys look adorable. Yeah, it's it's a great picture. Mm -hmm. Well, a part of the reason we do the better half is to let you all know about the good work that these ladies do in the community, uh, not just here in Green Bay, but all over Wisconsin mm -hmm. and in their hometowns. And you're doing something big this weekend. Yeah, I addressed um, the part today. For oh, <laughs> well, good. Um, so I'll be the honorary chair at the Susan D. Coleman um, race for breast cancer, and I'm really excited to go up to Milwaukee and just kind of explain why it's important to me to, you know, be an advocate for that to spread awareness. So. Tune in, find out more about it. But if you haven't uh, joined the race, you definitely can still sign up also. Okay, and it's this weekend. This weekend. Uh, I think it starts at 9 a.m. on Sunday. Not okay. much time oh, for yeah. training then before. Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope, you'll be Just fine. Get out there, get and, up do there it. and do it. You can do it. You can do it. And also, uh, some of the Better Haves had a nice honor this week, uh, recently, this month, being part of Women Magazine and having you on here. Yeah. It, and it's a lot about your community involvement. Uh, yeah, and you know what? I think it was really an awesome write up, but the PWA and a lot of the women here do so much in the community and it was just kind of nice to have that recognition just for all that they do. PWA is Packer Women's Association, yes. right? Yes. And then Abby Bulaga and Audie Perry are, were yep. also on the cover of that. So, I mean, but that was nice. It kind of went through some of the things that you guys do. Yeah, and we do a lot of stuff in the community. You know, like last year, if you guys remember, we did the project at Golden House where we transformed that room mm -hmm. into a teen room. Yeah, that was really cool. We did the Paul's Pantry Food Drive, which I think Alyssa is yeah, helping you're out with. Yeah, you're in charge of that this year, right? Yeah, there has to be a culture this year. So I'm really looking forward to that. What game is that? October 11th against the Rams. We'll be oh. going around collecting money, not necessarily as many cans, mostly money for Paul's Food Pantry. So I'm really looking forward to that. All right. And they usually do have those uh, canned food drop offs at the game, so you don't have Thank to. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you you don't got to lug them in. <laughs> you don't have to carry around the cans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. And who here helps with the park build? Yep, these two did. I couldn't find a babysitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, I don't have kids yet. So okay. I <laughs> Alyssa's going to be doing everything. <laughs> yes, you will see me there. And tell us about the playground that you helped build. Well, it was the Fireman's Park over there off of Main, or Mason, Mason Street. Mason yep. Street. In Green Bay? Yes, in Green Bay. Oh, my gosh. Well, you were really working. It was a work. Yeah, me and Alyssa were in the afternoon crew. The morning crew did so much work. When we got there, honestly, it was kind of like, yeah, just kind of filled true. in where we could. But they put together the big pieces. and. We did a lot of looking. And that's and Carly. Tips. She's Bruce Gaston's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And she helped us a lot, too. She was doing more work, I think, than yeah. we were. <laughs> Very <laughs> in. Pictures. Happy but in. It was, it was hard work. And it ended up being a really cool project to be a part of. And it looks like you had quite a good turnout. We did. It was about 90 We women met a lot of cool ladies, too. Workers from the pro shop, mm -hmm. from, um, some from, I think, the cafeteria and stuff as well. So it was a lot of fun. I always look forward to the Ladies of Lambeau event. Uh, Lori Murphy puts it together mm -hmm. because we do get a chance to interact with other women who we don't see on a regular basis but are still associated with the Packers. And it's just pretty fun to get together and do something in your community. Definitely. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Way to go, ladies. It's looking mm -hmm. good. So, and just one thing that you've done recently to help out your community. Yep. So that's fantastic. Yep. Awesome. Well, now it's your turn oh. to do a little <laughs> cooking. Okay, yes. we're going to send Casey into the kitchen with Amy Hanton, our cooking mom, and she's telling us what she's working on. Hi, Amy. Hi, Rachel. Hi, ladies. It's apple picking season. I love this time of year. We're going to show you how you can take some of these great apples and make a fun, elegant chicken dish, perfect for fall. It's my apple uh, cider chicken recipe, and it's coming up next. You're watching The Better Half, so stay with us. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You are watching The Better Half. I'm Amy Hanton, also known as The Cooking Mom, and today I'm really excited to share a wonderful fall recipe with the ladies and you guys, and uh, Casey's going to help me out here in the kitchen. I so sure am. Your first time in the kitchen with me. Yes. Don't worry. I don't bite. Um, <laughs> you know what? All my uh, recipes are really, really easy breezy. I'm not a chef. I'm just a mom, just like mm. you guys, trying yes. to get dinner on the table. So um, I'm always looking for shortcuts and quick and easy recipes that my family um, loves, but I also want to look like a rock star. Right. You know? when you bring it to the table. Right, absolutely. So um, you were saying we're making a chicken breast, apple cider chicken breast. So we're using the wonderful apples that you can get right now at the orchard. Um, and chicken breast, which we all have in our freezer, in oh, our Oh yeah, fridge, I you have know. some I need to cook right now. So chicken gets so boring, <laughs> you gotta change it up. And this is a really elegant kind of a recipe you'd order out at a restaurant, but it's so easy to do at home. So Casey, I'm gonna put you to work and all I awesome. need to do is slice up some apples. So a couple of apples. Um, the recipe calls for three to four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And I'm just gonna give them a quick pound with the back of my meat mallet. What that does is, and I've noticed I've got them in a Ziploc bag, otherwise your whole kitchen can be wearing the chicken, <laughs> which is not a good thing. But what that does is it um, 
makes the chicken breast nice and even. Sometimes chicken breasts can be very thick in the middle, and then it's kind of like, uh, you know, they don't cook evenly. Yeah. So this makes them cook very quickly, which is a good thing if you're in a hurry to get dinner on the table. I like to also, make them flat. Yeah, and then also cook them very evenly so that, you know, um, it'll be cooked through when you cut into it because there's nothing worse than cutting into a chicken breast. And it's, and it's raw. Yeah, yeah. And it's <laughs> happened. And then what do you do? So, I know. Um, I'm just dusting this chicken breast in a little bit of flour, and I've got a great big skillet here. It's one of my secret weapons in the kitchen is a really nice big stainless steel skillet. Um, because you're going to get those great browned, you know, browning chicken breast, pork chops, whatever, um, just like they do in, you know, the pros do in those fancy yeah. kitchens. So, <laughs> I wish and, I could be one of those. Pros. Oh, you can be. It's really <laughs> not that hard. So anyway, we're going to take our chicken breast that we we call dredge, which means lightly coat with some flour, and get them into a skillet with some butter. We're using butter to give this chicken breast some nice flavor. You could also use olive oil. But we're not using a ton of butter, just a table, couple tablespoons. And any type of apple will do. Uh, my daughter and I always go apple picking this time of year. Have you I, been? No, you, I you really want to go. go. There's so many great orchards in, in Wisconsin. We've been here for three years and I still haven't made it. Well, this weekend, you've got plenty of time. The um, apple crop looks really nice this year. And it, they actually are picking a little early, which is nice. So oh, get that on is out nice. there. Yeah. Okay, I need the to go. The other thing I've got going on here is this is apple cider, two cups of apple cider. And if you can get the really good stuff from the, you know, farm stands, fantastic. Otherwise, you can just get it at the grocery store. Um, sometimes you can get it at the farmer's market. So I'm reducing that down, two cups. I want to let that simmer for about 15 minutes. And what it does is it's going to reduce down and really concentrate in flavor. Perfect. I'm also going to season up my chicken breasts um, with a little salt, a little bit of garlic salt. That was an ingredient my mom used a lot growing up. Love just garlic to, salt. I, mean, I do too. It's kind of a staple. <laughs> is it two in, in one? House. It is, yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to have to mess with, you know, right. chopping up garlic. And then some freshly ground black pepper. Oh, it smells so good. Really, really easy. Anybody can do this. Okay, so we're just going to give our chicken breasts, once they start getting a little bit of color, and I think one thing that a lot of people do is they fry up chicken, like in this case we're frying up chicken breasts, and then they just, you know, take them out of the pan and then they wash the pan. Um, the thing is, is there's all these great bits and flavors in the bottom of that they pan. Can use. Yes, to use to make a wonderful pan sauce. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, that's when you go to the restaurant and you, you see a dish like this on the menu and you're like, how did they get that amazing <laughs> sauce? You can so do that at home. It's really more of a method. So think about using the brown bits and all the goodness that you've started happening in this pan, taking it to the next level and making a pan sauce. So we're getting a little bit of color on these chicken breasts and that's what we want. Color is flavor. Are there ingredients? Um, some fresh chopped parsley. Yum. Real simple. Dijon mustard. Chicken stock we're going to use to deglaze the pan. When you're making soups and, and stews and, you know, different things that call for um, chicken stock, make sure and get the stock, not the broth. Right. The stock is the really the good stuff. It's not that much more expensive. I love buying it in a box like this. Flip top lid, put it back on. If you don't use it all, you can Stick use it. Stick in the fridge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> love that rather than having to open the can. So I'm just going to give my parsley a rough chop. And at home, you're going to want to let those cook, uh, chicken breasts just cook a little bit more. They already look so good. They start to smell really good, and they're going to finish up in the sauce. So if they're not completely cooked right now, don't worry about it. But you see all that great brown in the bottom? At this point, this is the, the apple cider that we let cook down. Okay. Uh, it's darker in color. Yeah. It's really reduced in, in flavor. And we're going to deglaze that pan. That's what you want. You want that sound. You want that kind of that sizzle. A little chicken stock also in here. We're going to throw your apples in there, those nice Perfect. apple slices. A lot of people Ooh, don't think yeah, about cooking so with good. apples. They think about, you know, baking with them. But really, it's really nice to, you know, use them in recipes like yeah. this. I do similar recipes with pork uh, as well. Oh, and pork and apple is really good. It's, you know, it's a it whole pork really chops good. and applesauce. So yeah. think about throwing some, you know, um, apples in with your savory dishes. Oh, yeah. A little bit of Dijon mustard. And if you like a little bit more of a mustard sauce, you can, you know, add a little bit more. And then we're going to do a little bit of heavy cream. Doesn't need a whole ton, but just a little bit. So real simple to make this whole it's kind very of simple. fancy I like that. whole thing going on. And then we're going to add our chicken breasts. 
You need simple when you have kids. Absolutely. <laughs> but again, rock star dish, a wonderful fall dish to bring yeah. to the family or invite company over. And then these chicken breasts are going to kind of finish cooking in that sauce, finish it with some parsley. I love serving this with some um, rice, wild rice oh, for yeah, fall, so um, just good. to kind of soak in that sauce, mm -hmm. a little parsley to finish the dish. And we'll just let those chicken breasts continue cooking. But this is really, really easy, um, and but yet a little elegant. So we'll good, take yeah. It to the next level. I know, so it can't be pretty. I can't wait for you guys to try it. I know, um, me neither. So go apple picking with your daughter. Yes, I'm going to go this weekend. I want to see some pictures. So. <laughs> yes, it's my birthday weekend, so we'll go. Good deal. Yeah, well, happy early birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Coming up next, more with the ladies. We're really excited to have Packer wife Lindsay Kuhn in the house. She just had a new baby. Uh, hoping to see some pictures. I got to snuggle with her earlier. She's, mm -hmm. adorable, She's so cute. Baby L. So uh, the ladies are back talking more. You're watching The Better Half, so stay with us. Welcome back to The Better Half, and we are so excited that Lindsay Kuhn is back on the show. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. Hi, girls. Hi. It's good to see you. <laughs> Thanks. Last time we saw you at a baby ball. looked a little bit different. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. She was pregnant the last time she was here, last season, and now you have a beautiful bundle of joy. Tell us all about her. Uh, well, we welcomed Elle in April, and she's almost six months now, and she has just been the best sometimes hardest thing that we've ever done. <laughs> it's just, it's been, it's one of those things, oh, there's a picture of Buckwheat and Elle. <laughs> oh, so that was cute. your baby before. Yep. Buckwheat, okay. Buckwheat yes. this, oh Buckwheat that. I know, still baby number one, she's baby number two. <laughs> okay. And it's just, it's, it's oh, incredible. Oh, that it's, picture. That is really, really yeah. a good picture. That was oh, the last preseason game. Goodness. Well, we, we've all remarked because she's actually been around the studio this morning. She looks just like John. I know. Absolutely. <laughs> that could change, though. I, so I've been told. Yes, yep. yep. I'd like one feature in there. Hello, that Somewhere. looks like you. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Little mama flare well, right there. Those are my sunnies. Yep. <laughs> She's already been boating and everything. She has, yep. It's, it's so much fun with the two of them. Oh, my gosh. I, no one can, people try to explain what it's like, but you just can't put it into words. It's been better than everything I've heard and, mm -hmm. you know, hard at times, but just so much fun. Oh, oh that's Protecting the baby ears. Oh, the yeah, game. yep. I actually, a lot of the girls had small babies when we went to the Super Bowl, um, and so I saw a bunch of them in those, so I already was ahead of the curve. I knew I had to get those. So, and it's such a huge help. She took a nap in those, went outside for a few minutes. It was great. Was she, she, in, was she like good at the game? Was she looking perfect. around? Like, yeah, perfect. Yep. So Actually, she slept the whole time. We were inside for a little bit in one of the girls' boxes. And um, so she was able to play there and then went outside so that I could hand her over and get that picture. <laughs> and she slept the whole time we were outside. And it was so loud, but she slept. That's a good baby. Yep. I know. Some good headphones. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'd like a pair like Alyssa's that. Alyssa's taking this all in for when she has kiddos. Like, she's yes. learning everything. Take your notes. <laughs> Take your notes. Yeah. My little neighbor wants to bedazzle them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would be adorable. Yeah, I know. So what about John and Elle? How, what's their relationship you like know, at this stage? I <laughs> was very pleasantly surprised. I knew he'd be great because it's, you know, it's his little girl. But he, he actually was showing me how to swaddle and how to wrap diapers or put Whoa. diapers on. Was he, he doing some research? Or? No, I think it's because he had a sister that's 10 years younger than him. Oh. Okay. So he kind of I helped out when he was younger, mm -hmm. so I think it carried over. So he was very, That's I mean, awesome. ahead of me, I was looking at him for what to do. So well, let's get that he's hands on. A lot yeah. of guys kind of, even when it's their own kid, of course, they're more hands on than usual, but sometimes they're like, hey, it's a little baby. Yeah. You take it, you, you change it. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do it. So. And it's a new diaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. That's, yep. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so that that's good. Like when he comes home after practice, you're like, okay, it's your. Initially, time. I had to try very hard not to do that because you know your lack of sleep, and so mm -hmm. I promised him I wouldn't be someone that did that right when he walked in the door. But I didn't stay true to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's. Well, yeah. you do need to go brush your teeth once in a while, yeah. right? Sometimes it's you know I, I try to do that before dinner these days. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's really I'm fortunate enough to get to stay home and um, and just. It's just, I, I, I get a lot of rest, but and especially when she's resting, but it's just been a lot of fun. And how are you doing? How are you feeling? Good. I'm starting to feel like myself again. Yep. Takes a while. Doesn't Wearing it? makeup again. <laughs> I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. Um, no, it's, it's been really good. Really okay. good. Okay. Yeah. You're glowing. Just I am, like, you are. Yeah, like the I new bride, that. but she's <laughs> the new yes, mom. Yes. Oh, and me over here looking like a mom. Oh. I don't get sleep and I'm not newly wed <laughs> anymore. Fabulous. So. Fabulous. <laughs> you too. Yeah. Um, so you're, you have to get back to your other job, though, yes. Touchdowns for Hope. It's a big event in the Green yes. Bay area that you do. Tell us all about it. Yep, so this October, it's our sixth annual event, yeah. um, Touchdowns for Hope. It's at Oneida Country Club on the 2nd, which is a Friday. Um, go to touchdownsforhope.org for more information. But we have, as you know, Yes. Um, I'll be there. Yes. Yeah. Um, our wonderful um, host, as well as Michelle and William Henderson, will be there auctioneering. 
Um, we're going to have, from 6 to 9, we have a program, we have a buffet. Um, those are the gals from the house. And what is House of Hope for people who haven't heard about it? Sure. House of Hope is one of Green Bay's emergency shelters for women, um, mothers either expecting or with children between the ages of 18 and 24. Um, and it's a shelter that they can come to to get emergency services, um, such as how to parent. They get positive encouragement as far as parenting how to provide stable um, lifestyles for their children, so how to make a healthy meal, mm -hmm. um, how to get into a great schedule, as well as educational help. So if they're, they haven't finished high school in a lot, of, a lot of these cases, they get help with their GED. They get a lot of intensive case management, so um, financial literacy, how to balance a checkbook, how to budget. Um, they help with um, helping these mothers become more employable. And you've met a lot of these women yes. and, and heard their stories. Uh, What's it like for them to, to be able to have a place like this to go to? I, it means the world. I, it? Absolutely. I think the, the women that work there, especially, there's women there 24 to 7, it's like they have this family around them, mm -hmm. and they're just kind of mm -hmm. taken in, and there's no judgment, and it's just, they're all at, it's one of those things where I thought, you know, I don't know if they, they want to come and meet us, or they want to come to this event, but they're just so thankful and so... Um, wrapped in love and, and encouragement and it's just so positive for them to be in these environments that they just um, are so thankful. In fact, some of the women have come back to participate um, with different events and I think there's even one mother on the board now. Fantastic. Yep, it's well, really incredible. Can our viewers go still? Absolutely. You can purchase tickets on um, touchdownsforhope.org. There's plenty of room. We'd love to have you. There'll be some Packers there. And Always you have done. to see John Boone on yeah. stage talking to everybody. He's in a suit. He's like a he different... Tries to crack, crack a couple jokes. Yes, he does. He's very suave up Some's there on fun. stage. <laughs> yeah. But it's a really great event for a really great cause. And Lindsay, we're glad you're back here on The Better Thank Half. You. Stick around because we've got more things coming up. I sure will. Up next, we're going to put on a fall fashion show. Lindsay and I are not going to, but the rest of the ladies are. They went shopping. They picked out their outfits. That is coming up on The Better Half. Welcome back to The Better Half. It's time to talk fashion. I'm celebrating the last days of summer, which was on Tuesday, but now it's time to talk fall fashion. Kimber Hyden is here from Apricot Lane Boutique. It recently opened in the Green Bay area. Absolutely. Hi, welcome to the Thank show. Thank you so much for having me. And I wanted to say it's not just in Green Bay, though. You have locations around the state. Yep, there's about four stores um, statewide. Okay, so Wausau, Wisconsin Dells, Madison area. Yep. So you're all set. And I've got my little fashion friend right here. <laughs> <laughs> Kim's all dressed up in fall fashions, and we have three beautiful models that are ready to show you what they're wearing. Kim, who do you want to start with? Sure, let's start with Alyssa. So she has on a fun navy blazer. I just love this blazer. We have a wide variety of colors in the store. She added a dressier flannel to it as well, as well as a wine-colored tank underneath. So pair it with your favorite skinny jeans and knee-high boots, and you're all set. This perf outfit is perfect for, you know, heading to a day at the office, grocery shopping. And bring, blazers, yeah, I'm seeing that blazers. a lot in the magazines and stuff, yep. the little blazer to layer over your... Especially in Green Bay. Yeah. You know, we, get, we get cold here. The weather changes, right? right? Yeah. So, um, and she's all layered up, layered up in Apricot Lane head to toe here? Absolutely. She has one of our Giving Key necklaces on too, which are super fabulous. I love them. Really, really cute. And lots of boots in the store. Absolutely. We have gray boots, black boots, brown, camel. A wide variety of colors. Speaking of boots, I really like what Casey's wearing. Thank you so much, lovely Thank you. model Alyssa. <laughs> Casey is wearing, we just love this tunic top. It is so I told cool. her to strut her stuff, and she did. Rocking it, girl. So it's got some of my favorite fall colors in it. Olive green, tomato red. Add your favorite pair of leggings. Dress it up with some boots. I love these camel colored boots. I love the boots. Yeah, they lace up the front. Super comfy. They look great on her. Really, really cute. And I love the, the shape and the style of that top. It's so swingy. And there's a little detail on the sleeve. Yeah, we oh. love the detailing in the sleeve. Just a, you know, a quick little stitch and it adds so much to the outfit. One more time, a little 360 for us, Casey. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yes. Very nice. All right, Heaven, it's your turn. Heaven is rocking this mustard yellow tunic. I ju we just love mustard yellow. It's a we, great color. It's a great color. In this town. Green Bay, mm -hmm. we've got tons yep. of mustard yellow and olive green in the store. I love the detailing in this long um, kimono. It's got some really beautiful lace detailing on the sleeves and on the back. Just put a little belt around the outfit to really dress up the whole outfit. Add your favorite pair of leggings. We added a pop of teal to her outfit here. Um, I just love these teal leggings. We have a wide variety of fleece-lined leggings in the store. They're fleece-lined? Fleece-lined. 
How do those feel? They feel amazing. They're yeah. very comfy, very soft. So yeah. perfect for tailgating, walking around outside, um, running to the grocery store. We got some. Yeah, of, talk about the boots, the style of that boot. Yeah, we love these boots. They're super soft inside. They're, um, they got these really cute buttons on the side as well. And the color is perfect because you could wear it with black or brown. What I like is for somebody who wants to go to the game and not wear just the regular jerseys right. and t-shirts, she could actually kind of wear that to the game and fit right in. Absolutely. Put right? on your favorite Packer jewelry, Packer scarf, headband. We got all of that in the store and as well. And she's all set and stylish at the yes. same time. Thanks, Heaven. Lovely lady. So what are some of your favorite trends, Kim, um, for I, fall? I love the fringe, such as this, you know, fringe oh. scarf that we have over here. Fringe. Fur vest, um, I'm loving the colors, mm -hmm. camel, um, camel browns, foundation colors, mustard yellow, olive, tomato reds, just such great colors that we don't get to see all year round. What we didn't see on the ladies, but we're seeing here are hats. Do you have a number of hats? Absolutely. Store? Felted floppy hats are really in right now, especially with a belted accent around the top. So we have a wide variety of colors, perfect for any occasion, you know, senior pictures, engagement photos. Oh, good idea. Um, you know, date night out. At, if you're you know, heading to the pumpkin patch or the apple orange orchard, you would want to wear <laughs> something like that and dress it up with some of the, uh, the scarves. Absolutely. We have tons of scarves, silk scarves, um, some really cozy, fuzzy scarves. And last question for you, any um, green and gold fun uh, t-shirts and, and stuff to wear to the game? Absolutely. We have, with, we got the blinged out ones because I know a lot of the ladies love their bling. So we got <laughs> t-shirts and sweatshirt versions. We have headbands, um, necklaces, all kinds of jewelry. Um, and like I said, a lot of mustard yellow and olive greens in case you don't want to wear a graphic. And Something that yeah. screams I'm a Green Bay Packers exactly. fan. Exactly. Although we don't mind doing that around <laughs> here. Kim, thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, having me. Apricot Lane Boutique, dressed in the ladies. Very nice. Thank Looking you. good. For thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. If you want to look this good, you gotta hit the gym <laughs> once in a while, right? Oh. Heaven's gonna take us on a special workout. Don't miss it. That's next on the better half. Welcome back to the better half. We talk fashion, we talk food, and now it is time to talk fitness. Your favorite, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> she thought we were doing the food segment now, but no, it's time to talk fitness. How how has it been getting back into working out after baby? Well, it was good for a while. I started going to spin three times a week, um, but then my babysitter went back to high school. High school uh -oh. started, so uh -oh. now I'm on hiatus, so I, I'll start again maybe soon. You'll get back. <laughs> if you need back. any inspiration, just <laughs> follow her on social media. Seriously. And She's I only have one baby. People have I'm still looking kids for inspiration. I'm just trying to finally get back. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel like I'm constantly mm -hmm. working at it, so that's just... But I'm you doing. said you're starting to feel more like yourself, oh, so this is a good time. Yes. So we do have some pictures that Heaven posted recently of your working out. Mm -hmm. You were sweating. I sweat a lot. You know what? And I kind of feel like if you're not sweating, like you're not, you're not working, working out hard, hard enough. enough. <laughs> but I think I sweat more than the average woman, like a man. So like, don't compare your sweat to mine by any means. But, but I think that you, I mean, it just shows how you know, tough your work. You see that heart are. right there? That is a sweat heart. That's how Aww. much Aww. I was working out at the bottom. It looked did like you a little plan heart. That? No, I did not plan that. I just... You have some nice muscle, sister. Ah, thank you. I've been yeah. working on them. I really try to get my kids involved in being active. You know, these days there's so many iPads and TV, so we do a little bit of working out and I made him stop dropping yoga with me Aww. at the park Aww. in Cadence. He wasn't working out, but <laughs> he is flexing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting there. When I had a baby, I used to do squats with baby in my oh, hand. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, to rock her to sleep. Or, and, and so then I got a little, you know, workout yeah. oh, in yeah, at the yeah. same time. That's a really good idea. You're taking us into the gym. What's yeah. happening here? I'm doing a little TRX with, I called him Nate the Amazing Trainer. Uh, we did a lot of stuff with the TRX, so. All right, take in. a look. Hi guys, it's Heaven. I'm here at Anytime Fitness. I'm here with Nate the Amazing Trainer. Um, I don't usually wear makeup. I just came from a luncheon, but what are you going to have us do today? Freaking out. Amazing trainer. Really? The amazing trainer. Well, That's what okay. I heard. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you the TRX today. Awesome. Okay? Um, so the cool thing about the TRX is that you can adjust the resistance level just okay. by moving your body during the exercise. Awesome. So unlike a machine where you have to change the weight and the resistance, we can just really quickly adjust resistance. Very so, cool. Um, the first exercise I'm going to show you is just a row. So this is an exercise for the back. Oh yeah. And the arms, biceps, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do is um, straps right in front of the arms, yep. okay? Heels forward, if you can, get up on those heels, okay? Okay. Body nice and straight, and then we're just going to stretch those arms out, okay? 
I see your arms turned, so I need to turn my arms so they back out. Oh, you don't have to turn them. Okay. I was just making it look fancy. Oh, ah, gotcha. No. <laughs> so this is the exercise that I'm looking for okay. from you. Okay. Want to give it a try? Yeah. I'm just kidding. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. So arms straight out. Got it. Heels Feet. forward. Excellent. Good. And. Perfect. And then just pull those elbows back. Give those shoulders a nice squeeze, squeeze. together at the back. Excellent. I'm going to try bringing those feet forward a little bit. You'll see what I was talking Ooh. about. We can increase So that increases the, load, to the resistance. Yep. Gotcha. Working harder. It's definitely. And then if it gets too tough, just back it right out. Harder. No, I like a challenge. All right, cool. Good. Fit moms. Give me one more and then move on to another one. Cool. Perfect. Awesome. I like it. Good. So now we are going to stretch these out toward the floor and we're going to do a push up. Okay. Oh. So <laughs> changing direction, ugly, guys. <laughs> but same thing. Okay. So the farther back your feet go, the tougher this push is going to be. All okay? right. So if it feels too difficult, we'll just bring those feet out. So what I'm looking for is hands in front and then up just a little bit. Okay. okay? Then we're going to bend elbows and spread those handles apart and then crack your elbows like that. No. <laughs> bring those hands together in front. Okay. So that's our repetition. All righty. Right there. Right? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Your turn. My arms are something I've been working on uh, strengthening for some time, so I find this that this is, is my... This is equipment for you. How are my feet? Perfect. Yeah, right up on the toes. Good. Keep those abs nice and tight. Nice straight line, shoulders to heels. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, the burn. The three more? <laughs> three? Three more, okay. Two. Last one. Nice. Good. Awesome. I like. So that is a TRX. Woo! Pretty cool. Thanks, Nate, though. That was awesome. Um, where can we find out more information about Anytime Fitness? Well, first of all, you're welcome. Thank nice you. job. Good workout. Um, anytimefitness.com will get you in touch with the closest club to you or stop by your neighborhood Anytime Fitness and get a trial set up. Looking good, Heaven. Way to go. Now that you've taken care of your body, it's time to think about your house and making some improvements there. Michael Wood is here from Callen, and um, Casey and I both live in older houses. Mm -hmm. Would you be the guy to call if we needed new windows? We would definitely be the people to call. <laughs> I'm with Callen. We're a 29-year-old uh, uh, home improvement and remodeling company in southeastern Wisconsin. We do everything from roofing, siding, windows on the exterior. Uh, we do bathrooms and kitchens and additions. Uh, talking about interior work, but what I'd like to talk about today so is take our... take notes, okay? Right. All right. We do everything, we do everything. Today we're focusing on windows. The, yeah, specifically today it's windows. Uh, this is our Infinity from Marvin fiberglass window. It is by far the most popular window that we sell. Why is that? Um, well, generally speaking, you guys are going to be looking for windows. You're going to call a company like us. We're going to come out and we're going to start talking windows. One unique thing about us is that we do vinyl windows, we do wood windows, but this window specifically is a fiberglass window, and this is okay. this really has taken over our window business. Um, you can see here, this is this is what the window is actually made out of. It starts as strands of fiberglass. Oh, is that cool? And That's eventually cool. it goes through a machine and turns into a very, very strong, very dimensionally stable piece of material called Ultrex. And this entire window is made out of Ultrex. Um, there is no real wood on this window. Now, this oh. is made by Marvin. Uh, there, Mar this is not wood. There is no real wow, wood on the window itself. There's like a little bit of wood around yeah. the frame uh, for the sample, but the window itself, there's no real wood on there. Wow. And Marvin, being a 100-year-old wood window company, uh, they wanted to make a window that looked just like real wood. So if you look at this, it's got the curves around the glass. It's got real clean miters, real metal hardware on the window. I it's, was fooled. It's yes, even got I a wood grain <laughs> appearance. Well, what's unique about that is if you look here, this is the, the material that's on it. You can see there's no wood inside mm -hmm. that window at all. What that is is that's a photographic image of a real piece of wood on a film that then gets cohesively bonded to the fiberglass, and it will never come off. But the secret to it is that it's porous, so it will absorb stain just like real wood. We put two coats of polyurethane on it. Um, you have the texture, the color, the sheen of real wood, but none of the negative attributes of real wood. It'll never grow mold. It'll never grow mildew. It'll never rot. Um, fiberglass is the most dimensionally stable material that you can use in your windows. It doesn't expand and contract. You know, you think about Wisconsin. Uh, it's fall now. Uh, we have 100 degree temperature swings here. It's anywhere from 10 below all the way up to 90 degrees. Yeah, right. We, uh, deal with it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yep. Absolutely. And we've got humidity all over the board. Um, so you need a material that can withstand those that wide range of temperature, mm -hmm. uh, a material that if it does get some condensation on it in the um, winter time due to the humidity levels in the home, um, you want it to be able to handle that moisture and not actually damage the window. Absolutely. So you come to people's houses, do you look at what color the house is to kind of get an idea of 
how you need to stain it, or do you customize in yeah, that sense? The whole process is that you, you give us a call. Uh, we'll set up a time to have one of our representatives come out and uh, take a look at what you have. They'll go okay. through a couple different installation methods. Um, there's one method where we take out your entire window, including all your trim work, and go right down to the rough opening of the home and put the new window in just like it was the original so window in the it, home. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the other way cool. is we can save your trim work, save, save your frames, and then put the window inside uh, the old opening. Okay. Um, then what we do is we kind of go through all the options with you. There's six exterior colors, there's three different interior colors, there's different options with grids, um, different window styles. If everything looks good, we get everything going. Uh, within about two weeks, we have a rep from Callen come by and do a pre-measure where they re-measure everything so we get them perfect uh, mm -hmm. when we put them in. Um, about six weeks after that, the job is scheduled. Um, that's what a lot of people like about us is how kind of on the ball we are with yeah, scheduling. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, you don't have, have to wait so long. Yeah, that's right. You don't right? have to wait so long. Yeah. Uh, we have all our own installers at Callen. They're actual employees. Um, they're high quality carpenters. They do a great job. Probably one of the best thing that we see in all of our surveys is um, homeowners that like how friendly they are, uh, the communication throughout the entire process. Um, they show them how the window works when everything is done, um, and then. Our rep always comes back and does a final review with you with all the warranties. Very good. Yeah, well, thanks for awesome. being here on the Better Half Callen Construction. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks, Michael. And he does say if you want to paint them green and gold, Casey, uh, yes. that can be done. <laughs> that they are so fun. Yeah, yes, they are. <laughs> uh, coming up on the Better Half, so much more, including a wonderful brunch recipe. Think bread pudding, think French toast, and Door County cherries. That's coming up next on the Better Half. I love your sign. I've been seeing it all over social right media. There. This is working. Chef Chris Manglis is here from 335 in Green Bay, but he's taking part in a national breakfast battle. Welcome to the Better Half. Thank you. Thanks for having <laughs> Tell me. Tell everyone about your competition. Uh, so we're one of 135 chefs across the country. Um, we're the only chef from the Green Bay area. Uh, competing to win the, the national breakfast uh, title okay. from Thomas. So. Yeah, and doing well so far. At the we time are. of this recipe, right now he's number one, but he needs your vote. We just need to keep it going. We right. don't want to slow down. Cool. So. I like it. That's pretty impressive. Thank okay. you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. What was the recipe that you entered for this contest? So it's a Door County cherry bread pudding French toast. It had to have a local Ooh, spin, so ours was the Door, Door County, County cherry yeah. local <laughs> yes. maple syrup. Great choice. Um, <laughs> and we used the bagels. You had the option to use bagels or English muffins, so. All right. uh, let's get started. So he's also sharing the recipe. You can go online. Uh, we'll give you that website in a second. So these but ladies we're gonna are going to make gonna, it right now. Yeah, they're going to crack the eggs. Okay. Uh, we need to make the custard first, so that's okay. the first step. Um, so we're going to warm up some milk. This is just whole milk. Um, some maple syrup in there as well. A little bit of sweetness from that. Some heavy cream. Oh, that's the goodness right there. And then uh, mm. our spices. So we have nutmeg, uh, cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. Mm. There. Okay. Then some okay. vanilla, just some raw vanilla bean here. Very nice. And then we're going to add some of our cherries. So we're going to steep about half of our cherries These in here. These are dried Door County cherries, correct? correct? And then we're going to add the rest of our cherries to our wow. maple syrup, which is getting ready for the final product. Mm. A little bit I of brown sugar that. in there. There we go. And then that just cooks until it, uh, until the sugar is dissolved. It doesn't have to. Doesn't How many have to girls boil. does it take to? You know what? I'm just giving her some pointers. I'm really trying. Really like, Alyssa is helping me out. I told you guys I don't cook often, so. Well, yeah. whatever you guys are doing over there, it smells amazing. Okay. It does. Okay, so, so we have everything's the... mixed together here. Okay. So perfect. what we're going to do is this is our tempering process. You're going to keep whisking here. Okay. No pressure. Keep it going. No so, pressure. No rest so, here. So the idea here is that you slowly add the warm cream mixture uh, to the eggs. You don't want to scramble the eggs. So if you put it all in at once. You'd end up with scrambled eggs, but mm. a little bit oh. at a time, make a mess here. You, you know, sure? so this is this is the same way. Essentially, what you're making here is an ice cream base. So you could stop here, oh, freeze it, skip I the French toast. Do it. I like slow down. <laughs> and you have ice cream. Okay, so, so that's, that's full. our batter for the. So then we just dump it over the bagels here that we have Alyssa? we have chopped up. So we we'll just dump, dump it over it the top. There. Okay, careful, careful. And then we would let that soak for about uh, five or six minutes. Um, Oh, is that all? Until some of that mix milk mixture soaks into the bread. Then this is a hot one out of the oven here. So this is this is what it looks like after that's about. Oh, that looks awesome. That's your bread. Yeah, right 45 there. minutes. That's your so bread pudding. Yes. But get, it's not done yet. We so need to make it into French toast. Chill it, and then slice it, and then put butter on both sides. So you could eat it just like this as mm. bread pudding. Oh. Put some ice cream on oh. top. That sounds good. Bourbon caramel sauce. Oh, you found the way to her heart. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna brown. Our maple syrup's getting warm. I love syrup. 
I love bread. I love syrup. <laughs> syrup, bread, yeah, like, cherries. What's not to love about syrup? I know. <laughs> I know. This is awesome. It's like okay. breakfast slash dessert yeah. slash whatever you want to make it. All right. Awesome. The website for people to vote is? ThomasBreakfastBattle.com. Okay. Uh, or they can go to our website, 335.com. We have a link okay. on there. Yeah. Chris has a restaurant in town. He's also a traveling private chef. Travels all over the country. Um, but, yeah, come check him out at 335. And don't forget the hashtag, Win With Chris. So, and first of all, how did you get into first place out of 100? That's a good chefs? question. I think it's I think it's all because of Rachel. Uh, and now the better half. Yes, yes. yes. So, yeah. now, keep so, the momentum so going. So get it on Instagram. Get it on Facebook. Every time you vote, you're entered to win. You can win ten thousand dollars cash. Oh, right. They can win. You can win dinner for six at the oh. restaurant. Um, oh, I better go and, vote. Well, <laughs> and you guys are gonna like this. And you can help feed. Oh, that's great. A the bunch of people. Yeah, yes. so, okay. so we're gonna, if we win, we're going to do a breakfast at the NEW homeless shelter down on Mather mm -hmm. Street uh, for anyone in the city that wants to come yes. to a free breakfast. So we need Chris really to win. We need your so vote. Are those almost ready? They're ready. Right. Okay, let's see <laughs> it. Ready. Let's finish this off. All right, so brown French toast. We'll take oh, yeah. some of this maple syrup. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, wow. like good. We just need a spoon. Because we know what we know what good food's all about. If, I wish you at home could smell this right now. It's just amazing. So this is just warm maple syrup with some of those steeped cherries. Oh, that's awesome. Nice there. Oh my gosh. Somebody and it's wants pretty. to put a little powdered sugar on top. Uh, you can. Yeah, let's do no. that. It just looks pretty when <laughs> let's you do, do that. that. <laughs> Look at that. And once again, this is the Door There's County cherry bread pudding, this would be French nice toast. <laughs> We're going to just, we'll, we'll make you. sure that everybody has some to sample. Yes. Uh, Chris, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank vote you, for Chris. We're going to eat it and tell you how great it is right <laughs> after this. You're watching The Better Half. All right, it's time. Welcome back, everyone. I had to ask them to slow down a little so that there was something <laughs> left to show on the air. What do you think? It's really good. So good. It's mm -hmm. good, awesome. isn't it? So you'll be perfect. voting? Mm -hmm. We will Absolutely. be voting. All right. All right. What's I'm your favorite you, part Chris. of it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think the syrup. Yeah, I think so. The yeah. toppings, like you can put I any toppings. I didn't do anything to make the syrup, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's okay. You did. You added cherries to really it, good. though. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. So don't forget to vote. The recipe is there, too, as well. And we thank you all for joining us. This was episode two, season four. Lindsay, thank you for coming thank back you. and sharing the baby news. And Audie, if you're listening, congratulations to you and Nick on your new baby. And we all thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next week on The Better Half. Now we can dive in. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm.